transportation agencies across the nation are using pop-up outreach as a method to engage the public by bringing the discussion to them. Pop-up events may supplement traditional public meetings or in some cases replace them. Pop-up outreach can take place wherever people congregate, from a bus stop or library to a major mall, fair or festival. The New Jersey Department of Transportation used pop-up events as one element in their comprehensive outreach program for the rehabilitation of the Pulaski Skyway. So the Pulaski Skyway project is a rehabilitation of a historic structure. The plan was to close the two northbound lanes, so we were going to affect probably about 35,000 vehicles. The Pulaski Skyway serves regional commuters as well as the local Jersey City, Hudson County area. We had to come up with a program that was comprehensive enough to capture all of these people. Um, a lot of them were not going to show up at a local um, community meeting, so we had to find means and methods where we could engage them. Pop-up outreach was one tool that helped the New Jersey Department of Transportation reach people affected by this major construction project and help them to understand the importance of the project. Events included a booth at a science museum. We had this big piece of steel that was removed from the structure that you could actually see the decay. All of this was done to kind of bring an awareness to the children and to inform the parents about, yes, it's painful that you don't have the two lanes on the Skyway right now, but it's really important work that we're doing. The Minnesota Department of Transportation conducted pop-up outreach in urban and rural locations around the state to gather feedback for their multimodal transportation plan using a tablet-based survey. One of our early engagement uh, opportunities is we found uh, the zombie pub crawl uh, in downtown Minneapolis, which is a big draw for uh, younger people. And um, we had two of our, our staff members um, had the idea to go down and bring the iPad uh, surveys uh, with them. And um, they went down before the event uh, opened. Uh, but before the event opened, the gates were, were closed and people were milling around, not doing anything. It was a captive audience uh, that were more than willing to stand there and fill out uh, one or two or both surveys. Our most um, efficient um, activity was when we went out to the state fair and set up a, a booth and we got, um, I think, uh, I want to say it was about 4,000, 5,000 uh, responses in just a dot uh, survey. Um, but we also, the iPad surveys, um, and they're in the range of about 40, to $60 um, uh, dollars per, per response uh, for those uh, events. Um, to give that some context, our stakeholder forms were over $100 uh, per response. Um, but that's, again, we have to compare that with the type of, of discussion and, and the depth um, of discussion and detail that we, responses we got from those different tools. For our different uh, tools, we found that um, Many of our uh, innovative tools um, uh, per response um, were less expensive than some of our traditional engagements. Pop-up outreach provides a quick, informal way to get the word out and get a sense of what's important to the public. Materials are easily replicated and can be used to engage different communities throughout a state or region. 